Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? When some people talk about the glory of God that they hope to see, maybe in their meetings, or during their times of fellowship, or in their personal lives, their expectations are mostly preempted by their lack of understanding of the scriptures. They make such statement as, Lord, manifest yourself and let your glory envelope this gathering. By that, they are expecting some sort of physical manifestations of some kind, just as they had in the Old Testament. They expect a supernatural cloud above their heads, some lightnings in the room, or maybe some thunder, a deep voice, etc. Don't live in the realm of the senses. Don't expect to somehow see the glory of God on the outside so you can say, Wow, the Lord was in our midst today. Why should you be looking for some kind of manifestations as they had in the Old Testament? As long as you have that kind of mindset, you're going to live your life expecting something that God has done with and has turned the lesser glory. All of the glory that the Holy Spirit manifested in the Old Testament the voice, the light, the amazing sights, etc., are all inside you now. The glory is in you now. The Apostle Paul so succinctly puts it, he said, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27 says, The mystery of Christianity and the glory thereof is Christ in you. The glory of God is resident in your spirit. You are a God-carrying vessel. Think that way. Your presence in a place means the glory of God has manifested in that place. That's part of what it means to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, the glory was in the temple, and you are that temple today, the temple of His glory. Blessed be God. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your glory and righteousness that are fully resident in my spirit. I impact my world with your presence and spread the bounties of your beauty, perfection and grace to everything and everyone around me. From the inner recesses of my spirit, I bring forth blessings to improve my world. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 1, verses 26 to 27, and 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 2 and Genesis chapters 3 to 5. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to 8, and Nehemiah chapters 4 to 5. Reality.